Alright, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. And Shalom taught the Akim out there preaching his word, truth, sincerity. Alright, this is the brothers in the Bay Camp. You know, I'm Shamar. Brother Yeah, we just coming in, um, you know, coming through through the spirit to do a lesson in the transit while we traveling. All right, we just got wrapped up camp and everything, you know. So we trying to keep the spirit flowing after after camp, you know. If any brothers have a precept you want to start with? Yeah, I'm gonna start with this real quick. The second Ezra's nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou time." Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Yeah, and that's how do we do that by being in the scriptures, you know, watching what's going on, because we're we're the watchmen of Israel, so we watch in the signs and the prophecies that come to pass, and then filtering that through the scriptures, man. All right, that's how you measure in the time, because we are in the times of the prophecies happening, and the and the, um, and the last prophecies at that, because we're America's been falling at a precipitous decline, and now we're at the. We're at the, uh, the beginning of the end of America, pretty much. Right. And when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I had told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's, we understand that we are in that time because all the judgment that's been taking place, it, that's as clear as day to us that we are in that time. Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh he is visiting the world. He's visiting with earthquakes, fires, all right, pestilences. Famine, all the different things written in the scriptures, man, it's all happening. You know, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, all the different things that we were told to look out for, it's all happening. And then uh, tomorrow, we was talking about that earlier. Tomorrow, you got the super blood wolf moon. All right, all these, all these different signs and things that the Lord is revealing to us, man, is as clear as day that we are at the end, and He's He's very, He's going to return very soon to visit the world. Therefore, when thou shalt shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world and you see you see um yeah the earthquakes that's already happening all right and uproars of the people is happening on the low level with the uproars of the people yet it's not on the high level like out there in france where everybody's really out there like that because people out here they're super bugged out so it takes a lot for them to get to that point like they are like they are out there in france these people out here they, they're just so they don't have so many drugs and you just been so docile in America for so long, it takes a lot more for these people to get roused up. But they're going to get to that point where they are getting, they, got, um, they do get roused up and actually go out on the street and just cause uproars, civil unrest. All right, but Esau, he, he's ready out here. The, the cops, they, they won't hesitate to shoot you out here. So it's going to be a whole different level once that actually does, like, fully happen. Then shall thou well understand that the, that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yes, yeah, like the scripture says in Isaiah, declaring the end from the beginning. And that's exactly what we've been doing, all right? Before all these different prophecies come, came to pass from our apostles and elders on down, we've been um, declaring these things, proclaiming them, before they actually became, um, came to pass. That's what prophesying is, to say before. So we've been saying all these things before they actually came to pass, which is just further proving that everything written in the scriptures is true. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And the end is being made manifest, because we are at the end. Mm -hmm. And it's clear as day that we are at the end because it's being made manifest. Man, you see all the, the prophecies happening. You know, everything that's been happening since last year really never happened. You know, all these unprecedented you know, weather, um, weather events going on. You got the government shutdowns as long as it's in U.S. history. Right. Global debt. Yeah, the global debt. That's just everything's just getting past the like the so-called the longest that's ever happened within America being established. So that what, what else? Do, what else? Well, more do you need to confirm that we're we're at the end at this point with everything that's been happening? What else do you need to confirm further confirm that we're at the end because it should be clear as day already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This um, Habakkuk uh, two and one. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I recruit. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Yeah, the 
vision was set for an appointed time and at the end is speaking and we are at the end because you're seeing all, all of the prophecies speaking now yeah. and it was an appointed time so now we are in that time of everything happening you know because like just like in ecclesiastes it says there's a time and season for everything now we're in a time of esau going down our our, our people being uplifted all right esau being exposed and the rest of the prophecies coming to the past just like in Acts, when they asked, they was asking Yahweh Shai, when, when is the kingdom going to be established? Hey man, they, everybody's been looking forward to this day, man. All our forefathers, they've been looking forward to the day that we that we're actually living in. I got a precept. This is Sirach 39 and 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Yeah, so it's plain unto us. It's, all these things are plain, man. All right, just like when um, the apostles did this year to year for Karagma. It's, it was plain for us to see that, like, yeah, this this is the year of Karagma, man, and it's like this is spiritual reason for all that, all of these things that's going on, and it's stumbling blocks into the wicked. It's still people out there stumbling over the fact that the on um, the mark of the beast is the chip, the RFID chip. I got a precept. This is Amos three and seven. Surely. The Lord power would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto a service of prophets. Yeah, he revealed his secrets unto the service of prophets, which, if he does that, who are his servants of prophets? And it has to be um, predominantly GMS, and any, any men that come in the same exact doctrine as GMS. Alright? Because he revealed his secrets unto the service of prophets, not, not everybody is out there proclaiming the same exact doctrine as us. Yet they get mad at us because we say that we got the 100% truth, which is, which is only facts. And really that goes for our people too, you know, because our people are the ones who really buck up against this word. And this is, and you get off over here, Cannon. And, uh, and uh, our people are the ones that this word is only for. Okay? So a stumbling, it's a stumbling block unto them. And it's going to be a stumbling block uh, for the destruction. You know, I have, and I have a scripture. Unless you have a scripture. No, no, you got it, brother. This is Isaiah 6 and 9. Uh, it's like, yeah. I was a 9. It's Isaiah 6 and 9. It says, can you get um, Romans 11 and 7? It's Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, and, per and perceive not. Make the heart, make it right. Make the heart of this people fat. And make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, that they may, that they see, at least they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Yeah. So the Lord, the Lord don't want all, uh, all of Israel to, uh, to receive this word on his side at this time. You know, all right? Because hey, because all of the, all of Israel is going to be righteous and ultimately going to be saved. Yet, at this point in time. All right, the, the Lord is only dealing with the elect, you know, in the one third, as far as the two thirds, the Lord has rejected them, you know, reprobate silver shall they call them, shall men call them, all right, because they are rejected of the Heavenly Father, and this is the way that the Lord is, because uh, somebody has to fulfill what, Zechariah the 13th chapter, God, God. you know, prophecy, we was go we're going into it, prophecy has to be fulfilled, everybody has to fulfill a lot. It just so happens from our apostles and elders on down, we're, we fulfill a, a lot of the prophets, okay? A lot of uh, the lot of the righteous, okay? Those who are a lot of way to receive this truth, you know? And if, you know, slack, that, not slack it. I was going to say this is uh, uh, receive the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. God. And, and how we know, and, and, and all things are being made clear now because we're at the end. God. That's why we, we just read in Habakkuk, the second chapter. Or that he may run that read of it, so we're under we're, we're able to understand where everybody fits in in prophecy, because mm. everybody has to fit in the prophecy. We understand who the Edomites are, who uh, the, the the prophecy of the wicked being destroyed. That we understand who the heathens are, the prophecy of the heathens being destroyed and going into captivity, and then we understand the the the, the prophecies about the elect, and we understand the, the prophecies about the two thirds. That's right. So we know who we know what's going on. Why? Because this is that. You're gonna turn. You're gonna stay right here. You're gonna turn uh, at the right. Like we understand who, where everybody fits in and prophecy. You know. Yeah, we know. We know everybody. We 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 understand who who every um who every uh specific character is in the story. Right. By right. by what the characteristics and the spirit. Right. We know who the wicked is. Okay. We know. Hey, we know who the uh 
who Moab is, all right, who the heathen nations are. We know who the, uh, the two thirds is, all right. Yep, yep. And we know who the prophets are. We yep. know who the men of the Lord are. We know who who the false prophets is. You know. Yeah, the uh, the director, which is Yahweh, gave us a script. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, he gave us a script, and uh, we're the only ones who have the script. Everybody else is oblivious that they're playing a part in this movie. Okay. You know, so we're we're the special characters because we actually know what's going to happen. It says he he has to uh, declare the end from the beginning. Mm. All right, says make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart. And convert and be healed. Mm. Yeah, so the Lord set it up so that you couldn't convert and be healed. Mm. He doesn't want he doesn't want two thirds to get it, man. All right, and they really they're not they would never get it really. Or right, well, in the scriptures in the um in the Old Testament, what always happened when our people came back to the Lord, they will always go right back to the doing the same things they did before. It was just a repetitive cycle. And now now the Lord is like, all right, y'all want to keep on doing that. Now two thirds of y'all, y'all just gonna receive your judgment, and then the one thirds, they're the only one who actually care to to want to get right, you know. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be waste without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly destroyed. Yep. So so uh, until the, until the destruction come to pass, you know. That hey that hey just uh, going. The brother uh, started off with uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. The same must uh, know it after death by pain. Right. Mm. That's when Jake gonna get it. When you when you, that's when you, when your when your life flashing before your eyes, as a, as your uh, your flesh consume away right before your eyes. You know, you meditate on all your wickedness, the prophets, mm. the prophecies, and how how you just how you just been how you just been being a demon, and that this is your actual judgment. You know, then it's gonna sink in, but it's, it's gonna be too late. Yeah, it's it's gonna be right on time cause, uh, for the heavenly father because that's when yeah. he pointed it. Uh, he he uh, he made it clear. He, he makes it clear unto you, Jake's man, when you when you uh, when you when you're being put to death. Mm -hmm. You know, right? This is Romans eleven and seven. Mm -hmm. What then? Israel has not obtained that which she seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, our people. They, the main thing they be seeking for is the truth. Mm -hmm. All right, they they look at, but they look into everything else but the truth. You looking into these uh the black consciousness, all these other doctrines and uh, madness that's out there, all right? But they never come they never come to the truth. But the election have obtained it. We we've obtained it. We've came into the truth, all right? And the rest were blinded, just like the scripture in Isaiah six and nine. Yep. Those are the ones. Those are the rest that were blinded, man. The rest of our people who actually can't get it. If you try to break it down to us, it's it's simple, like the other priest that the brother brought up. All right, it was, it's simple for us to understand it when uh, apostles and elder brothers bringing out different scriptures and whatnot. We could simp we could easily understand everything, but these other people out here that's not meant to get it, they could come up, listen. You could go into it, make it as simple as clear as day, as simple as possible to break it down, hitting a thousand precepts, and they still don't get it. Yep, they um they call it um hidden in plain sight, you know, because mm -hmm. it's right there. The prophecy is right there, breaking it down to you, making it as plain plain as possible. Yet yeah, it, the Lord hid it, hid it from you, you know, like the brother uh, uh, went into, and, and how pretty much it's about to re reiterate what, uh, what Isaiah, uh, what, what went on in um, Isaiah six and nine. Oh, you want me to go back into Romans? Oh yeah, yeah. Con, con, con. Okay, sure. Con. So Romans um, eleven and eight, it says, according, not a verse. Yeah, verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they shall not see, and ears that they shall not hear, uh, shall not hear unto this day. Yeah, until this very day. What is it, uh, January the 19th, you know, the 2019, the year of Karagma, hey, amen, and like the elder brother y'all will call, we just bring it out at, uh, at camp. Everybody knows what's going on, but you damn Jake's, and, and this is why, mm -hmm. this is why the Lord has blinded you. You know, to this very day, to what? To fulfill prophecy. Yeah, Jake is still uh, planning for the future here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here it is. You know, all type of chaos is breaking loose throughout the whole world. World, and Jake is totally oblivious to what's really going down. They don't even know who their enemy is. They don't even know that, you know, their enemy is is being prepared to destroy them. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> it says, uh, "And ears that they shall not hear unto this day, 
And David said, let their table be made a snare. So, right, it says that make, uh, in Habakkuk 2, make it uh, plain upon tables. Yep, yep, yep. You know, so the Lord, he, he, he the Lord, uh, the Lord has us, he gave us the secrets, basically. He, he, we, we can understand these things, but when Jake tries to understand these things, they're actually a snare unto him. Mm -hmm. It says, and a trap. And a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Yeah, the spirit as his way is a plan to the holy is a stumbling block unto the unto the wicked, you know. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their backs always. Yeah, and this is a curse that uh that King David uh put on two thirds of Israel uh as well. You know? And and that's the spirit that's the right spirit to be in, because you understand why uh, uh why these niggas in in the predicament they're they're in. They're evil. They're, they're malicious, all right. Hey, they they complete demons, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, they, they pretty much they they put themselves in this predicament, man, you know. Yeah, and that's why the government is coming against you right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got a precept? Okay, it's uh Matthew chapter thirteen. Yep, that's the one. Verse ten. Well, and you the, started nine. Verse nine. Who have ears to e hear, let them hear. Yeah, it's talking about your spiritual ears, you know. Go ahead. Out. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That's right, that's right. Yeah, it was only given uh, unto the elect, unto the servant, uh, his servants, the prophets. Okay? But to, uh, unto the rest of Israel, this this was uh, was not given. Okay? Yeah. Like, showing you that what? Really, this this is uh, uh this is only for the elect, man. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> yes, yeah, for the whole nation of Israel. Yeah, at this point in time, right now, this is for the elect, man. Yeah. You know, to receive these secrets, to be able to uh, interpret them, to break them down. All right, and what, and, and to prepare uh, prepare ourselves, really. You know, because this hey, this is about to hit you uh hit you, Jake, the one with the rest of these people as a thief in the night. It's about to hit you from the blind side, man. You know. And you, you're not going to be... Hey, man, you're, you're not ready in no way, shape, or form. Right. Mm -hmm. You done on that? Okay. Now, this is Daniel's 12 and 1. Mm -hmm. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as, as never was since there was a nation, mm -hmm. even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Yeah, the book of life, man, the elect, okay? Those who, uh, according to Revelation, the seventh chapter, who who had that seal, okay? Those who were uh, uh, slated for uh, salvation from the foundation, man. This is all about pre uh, pre predestination, okay? And that time of trouble, trouble is talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans... Um, as, as um, in which we're entering into, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, Trump clearly said, yo, this this um, this this government shutdown is specifically affecting the so-called Negroes and Lat uh, and uh, Latinos, yeah. the Israelites, man. Right in your face, right on TV, man. Jake just flipped flipped through it or, or looked for some. When, all right, so when are you gonna say that? When the government gonna open back up? You just totally skipped over the part where he said this is strategically. Uh, affecting you jakes man right because this is really for who it's for mm -hmm. because the mo it's really the most high that's doing it you know he's yep. turning esau his enemy he's turning up the he turning up the intensity you know to come down upon you jakes because esau mm -hmm. wants to push his new world order and you out of control okay. you know you don't you don't fit into a society so to speak so he's gonna push the chip and jake is gonna buck up well he's cutting he's cutting off your supply basically esau got you hooked onto babylon right which is a drug yes. and then he gonna cut your supply off so what are you gonna do you gonna go crazy you gonna go mad and that's what the time that we're entering into are right, you your government assistant programs you've been trusting in an oppression for so long now now this is going to be a shame unto you now and many of them shall sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt yeah that's right and sleeping in the dust uh, uh it's symbolic for a, a state of confusion, you know, <coughs> in, in, in which, hey man, Babylon me, it means what confusion, man. Right. And that's why for you, Jake's to uh, trust in Babylon, like the scriptures say in Isaiah, it's gonna, it's gonna, be, uh, it's gonna be your shame and your confusion. Mm -hmm. You're not, you don't, you're not gonna have no answers. You're not gonna know what to do, what's going on, 
who, where, what, when, why. <laughs> you know? Let me bring that out. Yeah. They're going to be totally messed up in the head, man. Because really they they're they're lover. Like, you love, say, you, you know, yeah. you get you got heartbroken. Yeah. You know, you really into a woman, mm-hmm. and she just, just, she just breaks your heart, you know? She just breaks your heart. You messed up. Mm-hmm. All right? And then you're not going to, and then you're not going to have, see, your lovers, the most high is going to turn your lovers on you. Yeah. Uh, you know? As the scriptures say. That's right. And you're going to be heartbroken, and your lover is just going to be keep giving it to you, just left and right, you know? Yeah. No opportunity to break. So you're going to be in, in a state of, uh, the state of disparity, okay. you know? Let me, uh, let me bring this out. As Isaiah 30 and 1, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of of my spirit. Yeah, just like y'all was going into, they basically they they coming in this, covering themselves in the spirit of America. Basically, they they put all their their trust in their faith, hope, every everything that they got, they put it all on America. That's why these people that that had did that, look at the state they now since the government been shut down. The the primary example that you can see that right now is the um people being furloughed. Those people that had the jobs for the government, they they never it never crossed their mind them getting um to the point to where you couldn't pay your mortgage, you getting kicked out your crib, you can't even afford to buy food. Some the simplest thing like that, buying groceries. Yeah. They can't even do that. Yeah. You were sure your whole life you thought you were stable. Well you built your you built your foundation on sand. Yeah. And now now the waves is coming now. Yeah. Here yeah. you were you were the waves didn't come for twenty, thirty years. You thought you was good, you know. Living your best life. Yeah, generations came in the house, you know, you had all these different Thanksgivings and Christmas. You were you were playing and partying. To where you you knew in the back of your head, you know, that this is not a sure foundation. Mm. But you partied anyway. Yeah. So now the waves is coming, now 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 you get rocked. You know? To where you're gonna get rocked to sleep. Mm. A dirt nap, basically. Good. Uh and the covering and that covering with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may ask sin to sin. That walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked of, at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Mm-hmm. That's they, the same place they got their trust all in. Hey, look what happens when you put your trust in Esau. This is, is the prime example of what happens to you, man. He just turned his back right on you. But the scriptures say never trust on an enemy. They don't know who the enemy is. Yeah. That's the, that's the problem. Yeah, because they have, it says that, uh, that walk to go down to Egypt and have not acts in my mouth. Who's, who's the heavenly father's mouth? Mm-hmm. His prophets. Yeah. And what did his prophets say? Okay, his prophets tell you to come out of her. His prophets mm-hmm. tell you to depart from her. Yes. But what do you do? You uh, you invest more and more in your your uh, your soul into this place. Mm-hmm. You know, cause you you invest everything. You, you your your plans. Are you you want to marry off your daughter? You know, go to her uh, her 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 wedding, mm-hmm. her third wedding at that, yes. with her fifth kid. Okay, you want to go on cruises? Jake still partying. Well, are you I see? Yeah. They want to build something uh, uh big here like uh. Uh, Nate Snake, he said that if a if a man doesn't, it's not uh, thinking thinking of uh, thinking about getting growing old with you, then forget about him. <laughs> Basically, he ain't no good. That's a demon. You know, but 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 guys like that, they're gonna be confounded in yeah. their congregation because what they have trusted in the shadow of Egypt, mm-hmm. and Egypt is about to be it's about to be destroyed. That's right. That's okay, right. America. Yeah. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Mm-hmm. And his and, and Pharaoh's strength is being weakened. All right, the mm-hmm. Lord is taking away the power structure of Esau. You know, he's 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 allowing his uh, his allies to become stronger than him, to team up with his enemies, to ultimately what come come against him. So as you putting your strength in 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 a, in a feeble ass uh, devil, and that just goes to show how strong you are. You're gonna be man. You're gonna be uh, weaker than him, really. Cause you're depending on the, on, the, on the weak vessel, all right? Uh, 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 like the, uh, the scriptures say, the vessels that are fitted for wrath. You know, you got that. Yep. It says, and the it says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, mm-hmm. and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. There you go. Yep. Trusting in Babylon, you know, it's gonna it's gonna lead to your confusion. Like the brother was saying, you're gonna be distraught. Mm-hmm. What's going on? That's the exact spirit they re- they literally in right now. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. read different articles or look at different news clips of people that actually um, furloughed and stuff. They saying they they like 
they don't know they're bugging out basically they don't know when it's going to be reopened when they're going to get hired back not hired back but went back to work you know get their next check are you done you can't go to your usually you know well, most of your families they they supposed to be well off and stuff they can't even go to their families for money yep. everybody through yeah. here it is they they all the same people that was cough at the lower income jace like all oh, y'all bums need to get your life together this and that now you in the same you in the same damn boat yeah. less than a month you already in the same yeah, less than the same month. spot they probably they probably ain't fucking with you because you try to stun on them with your little government job. Mm -hmm. Now you out there, now the tables turn, man. I wouldn't help you neither, nigga. Yeah, let me bring this out. This is uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight and twenty eight. The Lord shall smite thee with madness hmm. and blindness and astonishment of heart. Gosh, that's right. That astonishment of heart when you go into it means to be thunderstruck, to be uh, in bewilderment. Mm. So you're you're now being uh, given up by your lovers, which is the so called white man and your father. And now you're like, damn, my, my, my daddy, my, my God, my God going to give me up. Yeah. You know, he going to take food from me, going to take food from my children. Mm -hmm. This whole time you believe that the so-called white man was for your prosperity. Yeah, yeah. When really he was setting you up with the okie doke. Yeah. Okay. He was feeding you. He was feeding you. He was feeding you them opioids. Okay. Then he took your supply. Yeah. Good. Good. You know, now you, you strung out, you strung out on dope. Willing to do anything yep. to get that hit. Yep. And then, then what Esau going to do? What are you going to do, Akim? He's going to pass you that chip. Man. There you go. He's going <laughs> to pass you that chip. <laughs> See, it's, we, we understand what is, what's going on. Yeah. You know, you people don't understand Esau's breaking yeah. you down right now. Because you're going to see how uh, how much uh, Jake really depends on this system. Yep. Uh, the, like Esau saying, the order out of chaos. Right. He gonna, he's, he's actually creating all the chaos. Shut, let, allowing the government to be shut down, not trying to help it out, not trying to open it back up. He ain't trying to do anything to help anybody out. He wanted to be chaos because then it's going to just is making it way easier for him to just present the chips to you. All hell breaking loose. You can't get nobody getting food. Everybody bugging out. They don't, they, you're uncertain about your money, this and that. Everything you literally don't know left. You're left from right. And then he just comes with the chip. He's like, it's going, it's going to solve everything. You don't even got to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, you got a precept? No, I got it. Well, yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, you know, real quick. Go on, go on. This, um, uh, uh, Zephaniah 1 and 12, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles, uh, with candles and punish the men that are settled, settled on our leaves mm -hmm. that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Yeah, so everybody that's in that spirit, basically, you're not, you're, you're in the spirit of thinking that judgment isn't going to come. You're going to get caught off guard. You're going to get caught lacking, so to speak. Mm -hmm. All right, just, you got guys out here trying to... They, they're trying to put that idea in your mind of us being here for years and years and this and that. Man, America's done. It ain't about to be lasting for years and years. All right? The Lord's hastening the times. That's why you see more destruction taking place. Right. Yeah, this is Proverbs 1 and 24. Because I have called and ye have refused. Yep. I have stretched out my hand and no my regard it. But ye have set at not all my counsel and have none of my reproof. And that's what our people have always been doing from day for forever to this very day. They still do it. Yep. Walking past us, they hear us bringing it out, talking shit on the comment board. All right. They, you don't want to hear nothing that we got to say because in, in their mind, since judgment hasn't, all this stuff hasn't came to pass yet that we've been talking about, they don't take it serious. It says, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Mm -hmm. And this is and this is the time where the Most High is mocking. Cause yeah. and how is he mocking through his prophets? Cause we're laughing at you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're laughing at you. Basically, I told you so. That's what the Heavenly Father is basically doing. I told you so. I told you what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You you didn't want to believe this. You want to you want to turn it not all my counsel. Since the apostles and elders been out there, they've been doing what? They've been can, real quick. Yar yar, can you get Isaiah fifty eight and one? Okay. Yeah. And like that. Uh, if you ever seen that movie on Netflix, Extinction, the dude. In the movie, um, he was at basically having visions about the destruction and like shit coming. Right, yeah, yeah. And his bitch was basically saying like, "You a bug out, this yeah. and that." And then what happened? As soon as all hell break loose, she, what's what's gonna happen yeah. now? Like, she, yeah, that's yeah. how everybody gonna be. But it's gonna be like the script is gonna say it's gonna be too late. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be too. Ain't gonna, we ain't gonna be there telling you, "Oh, yeah. this gonna come with me here." No, nah, we ain't gonna be. Ain't nobody helping you out. You just gonna be out there by yourself. Well, you gonna you're gonna be uh you're gonna uh you're gonna be uh confused. 
Yeah. You're going to be confused. You're going to be confounded. Because mm-hmm. you trusted in Egypt. You trusted in the shadow of Egypt. You trusted in your lover, the so-called white man. Mm-hmm. And your lover is going to turn on you, just as the other nations turned on you. Hey, y'all, y'all can you bring that up? Yeah, sure. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their uh, their transgression in the house of Jacob their sin. Yeah, so now you Israelites, you have no uh, you have no excuse. Well, no you cloak. have no no cloak for your sins. There sin. you go. That's the mm-hmm. spirit. You have no cloaks for your sins. No cloak for your sins because the word has gone out, and the world the word is continually to go out. And you can see how the spirit is now changing to where Esau is about to come in. Yeah. He about to shut shit down, and then you're gonna be trying to search. Okay, you're gonna try to search for Yahweh Shemal Shai, and he's not gonna be there. Okay, you're gonna be trying to look for us. The same, the same niggas that you call all niggas that you you uh you you associate with terrorism, you associate with pedophilia, are you associated with being false prophets? You're gonna be looking for us in that day. And that just goes to show how who uh, who's the mouthpiece of the Lord. Because how would you search for the Lord by looking for His men? Right. You know, just backing you up. You're, you no, 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 that was it. It says, uh, it says, I also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Yeah, well, you think you think you got scars, man. The most high is the king of scars. You know, he'll 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 hit you where it hurts, man. You know, he'll pull out some old some childhood shit that you thought like you was getting bullied or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You're yeah. like, damn, how did they know that? And that's the heavenly father, man. You know? The Lord is gonna make mockery out of you niggas destruction, man. Yeah, he's gonna make your uh your sin before all. You mm-hmm. gonna what how does it go? He's a, uh some men's sins are you know, uh, cast before all. I believe how the scriptures go, but it's all good. Basically, he's going to make you an example, you know. Well, he's making Esau an example, a gazing stock, as it yeah, says in yeah. Nahum. And you, Jakes, are part of of this system, mm-hmm. you know. It says, uh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come up upon you. That's what's coming upon everybody right now. Like you've been saying, that's 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 hitting everybody. It's, it's slowly going to start hitting the rest of the people. Everybody, because like mm-hmm. first those are people that work for the government. Next is going to be people dependent on the EBT. It's just going to keep on trickling down more mm-hmm. and more. It's going to just be affected more and more of, of um, everybody else. Yeah, it's going to affect these Fortune 500 companies. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, these grocery stores that that depend on this uh, this government you know subsidies. Yep, yep. They're, they're going to go out of business. Yeah, right? And what is that going to do? Yep. The workers there. So they're going to go out of business. Then the families that depend on them, they're going to be starving because they're going to because they're going to have no job. Yeah. They can't depend because a lot of these workers depend on EBT too. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to be totally gone. Well, the people who work behind the scenes in these grocery stores and these different places, well, the correction officers, yeah, the yeah, federal agents, these different uh, uh, park rangers, mm-hmm. they're they're with no, uh, they have no, uh, they're not getting any pay. Yeah. TSA. Oh yeah. Uh, air traffic control. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people not getting paid. FDA, yeah, the FDA. A lot of people, and they they so called regulate food. Yeah. So now, hey, shit can be just coming off the shelves with all type of just diseases. That that can yep. be like the pestilence start. A lot of the pestilence started. Yeah. Because there's no so called federal regulation exactly. on the food. So Esau, he'll just put anything together and give it to you people. Mm-hmm. You know. It says, "Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early." But they shall not find me. Yep. Yeah, the Most High is going to hide his face mm-hmm. during that day. Okay? And, and, and how is he going to hide his face? He's going to take us from off the internet. And he's going to take us from off the street. That's right. All right? And you're going to be confounded in that day. And you're going to be calling on the Heavenly Father. And he's not going to answer you. He's going to give you up to a sick, demonic, ghoul <laughs> creature named Esau. Yeah. And he does dark things. Just look at his movies. Yeah. Just look at his movies. Look at all the movies that come out. He writes books. But goblins, how do, you, how do you think those goblins and those monsters, how do you think they, they are manifested on screen? Those are actual demons that Esau is dealing with, man, yeah. in his dreams. Yeah. Popping pills and ecstasies and seeing demons and shit. Yeah. Then he's drawing them and writing them and they put it in movies. Yeah. Like the dude Bird Box. He's, he's yeah. just like that. You see the visualize the demon and draw it up. How, how, can you, how can you draw a demon if you've never seen one? Yeah. You just make you no. Know, art, art imitates life. Mm-hmm. So eat. So the Most High is gonna give you up to his left hand, and you, man, you you got you're done. It says, uh, verse twenty nine. We'll, we'll finish out this, and we'll be, and then we'll wrap it up. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would. No- 
Yeah, because knowledge and wisdom is going to be a stability of our time, man. Isaiah 33 and 6. Yeah, it's not going to be beneficial for you, for you niggas, because what? Because you hated, you hated the, uh, the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. You hated, you, you hated the fear of the Heavenly Father, because that's the beginning of wisdom and understanding. You chose the fear Esau. You chose the fear of your bitch, you know, your kids, all right? Chose the fear of man, really, all right? Yep. They were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. Yeah, that's the spirit. Galatians six and seven. You know, the same, the same that you uh, you sow, you gonna you gonna reap. So you're gonna uh, you're gonna eat eat of the fruit of your your own doings. All right, all right. All that uh, corruption that you've been sowing, because you uh, you you Jakes haven't been sowing in the spirit. You haven't been repenting. All right, you haven't been trying to get right, set your house in order. No, you've been trying to establish a so-called dynasty here right, in Babylon. Right, right, You know? Right. Putting your eggs in, 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 in this shitty-ass hell, uh, whole, holish bag, uh, basket, so to speak, man. You know? And be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. So, yeah. And that's why we're we are uh we're quiet, meaning we're of a sound we're of a, a stable heart. Okay. You know? We're of a stable heart in these times. Really we're in an excited uh, we have an excited feeling, uh, because we know what's going on. Yeah. And you guys, you 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 wicked jakes, you're you're in an anxiety state because of uncertainty. Yep, yep, yep. Your uncertainty of the times, your uh your vision or your outlook on life life is now darkened mm -hmm. because you did not Taking into consideration the words of Yah Basham Yah Shai being true, how how we were we were saying that from our apostles and elders that Esau's going to turn on you. Yeah. All right, this place is about the you know Jacob trouble is going to pursue, yep. and how we broke down what Jacob trouble really is, and now it's coming to pass. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to. We're not going back and forth with nobody anymore. The prophecies are are very plain, mm -hmm. and now now they're confronting you. Right? These are not just things that we're saying and we're saying it's going to happen in the future. These things are now confronting you and you can see that those uh, birth pains, those contractions are building up, okay, in the spirit. Which is what? Just ultimate judge judgment on you people, the whole world and, and two thirds of our people. But really, what is it called? Jacob's trouble. Yep. You know? Yep. Hey, uh, brothers, got anything? No, no, that's it. That's it, man. You know? You, you people were about to catch holy hell. You women, you know, it's getting on, the spirit always out for you women, because this year, this year through the spirit, man, you women are going, oh, hey man, this is it for you, because as Esau go down, you you right, you you on his left hand side, you going right out, you know, and hey man, you Israelite women chiefly, because there's more women than men in the tribes, so, so what, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble is the time of you women's trouble as well, you know, rise up you women at our ease, many days shall you be troubled, man. All right, you know, and we're seeing it, and we're and we're uh, hey, we're excited and we're rejoicing, you know. Come along, y'all, by Shimia was shy, man. You know, yes, that's, that's it. So until next time, man. All right, stay up, you know. Good, good. Esau's good. falling. All right, we're we're winners. All right. Yeah. So prepare prepare to rule. All right, getting that ruling um um ruling class mentality. All right, because we are the next future rulers. Mm -hmm. So with, and until next time, we want to say shalom to the elect, death to America. Shalom to the elect, death to, uh, death to America. Death to the nigga woman. Shalom.